day two of no water, no, no telephone, and no proper TV. We had no gas as well at one point, because that was leaking too. But I think they've patched that up. Um, the state of play is that, um, luckily Mr B got loads of bottles of water, like tons, um, and filled up the toilet so we could flush it, because it was disgusting. Um, <laughs> I've got a flipping doctor coming here today. Oh, God. A psychologist travelling here from Oxford, I think. Or Reading. Oxford. And she, um, for Joe, um, as part of his EHCP, which is like an official statement, which goes with people until they're 25. It's people with learning difficulties and disabilities and stuff. I've got her coming today. I'm gonna be like, sorry about the 20,000 people outside my house digging a giant frickin' hole. So, um, let's have a look and see if the water filled up last night, shall we? Let's go and have a look. Because apparently the water board went, pff, don't care, that there's a leak in their mains. And the company who do, the company who do the, because our Wi-Fi and thingy cables are in that hole that they've dug. So I think they've just knocked it <sighs> they've knocked it and it's come undone that's what I think so I slept on the sofa last night and my leg feels so much better for it when I sleep in the bed it causes my leg to swell and it causes me a ton of pain so I slept on the sofa with my legs up up and over the arm and it just opens up that joint and it feels so much better today it's cold um, but I can't put the heating on because the tank can't fill. So I'm going to have a blanket instead. Simple. From under the blanket, Becky, just tell me how you're coping with the lack of Wi-Fi. I feel dead. You feel dead? On top of a hay fever. On top of the hay fever. Yes, okay. And where are you going this weekend? Uh, Salisbury Plain. Salisbury Plain. Who with? Army cadets. The Army cadets. You see how proud I am as a parent? You see what I have to be proud of, you two? Do you see the pride you give me? Yeah. Now go away. Don't speak to me. I want to be alone. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. To cry over Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> so here's an update on day two. We have no water. Still. And it's lunchtime. Or 11 o'clock. Um, we've got, I don't know how many workmen outside, all pumping water out of a hole in our house and cutting up our pathways and still no services. We are going to have no Wi-Fi, television or home phone for two weeks, they reckon. They are going to try their best to bring it forwards. But basically, when the guys who were doing... Oh, we've had a gas leak as well. Did I tell you? I can't remember. When the guys who were doing the, the digging were digging the ground, the vibration broke the fiber optic cables or whatever it is, and basically um, it all needs replacing and there's a waiting list. Um, so I've got two, especially two children with special needs who rely on their routine of day. So like Joe's freaking out because he couldn't get up and have a shower. Becky's freaking out because she can't wash her hair and her hay fever is horrifically bad. She needs to wash her hair every time she goes out and comes in. Me and Andrew are freaking out because we, we run a business and that business means that we need our internet connection to scan documents for back and forth in order to get paid. Um, and our business premises doesn't have Wi-Fi yet, so we can't even go there and do it. Everything's just gone to shit, basically. Everything. We're spending a fortune on bottled water because there's no water. <laughs> and it's hot. It's really hot at the moment. Um, it has to be hot the day. I know. It's been raining for like... A week and a half or something and then yeah. all of a sudden it's like heat wave and you've got no water hopefully we'll have water by the end of the day they're having to dig up some of andrew's lovely patio that he he did and they're digging all through the side of the house right down to the front outside um i don't know what we're gonna do basically i don't know what can we do there's nothing we can do really there's there's absolutely nothing there's leaks all in the hoses is there Look, there was one in that... Thing. It's leaking back out and going across the street. Yeah. 
Oh my god, it is. It's peeing up in the air. It's really bad. Just gonna have a shower. <laughs> yeah, we could just stand just outside and have a shower. shower. <laughs> now the water border here, because apparently there's another leak coming from their part. So they're fixing that, but we've still got to have all the piping replaced. Gee, that leak is massive. <sighs> they're, look, pumping water out and it just keeps coming out like a shower up in the air. Psh, psh. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm more stressed out, really, about the Wi-Fi and the television because um, Little Man and Joe both um, have... Well, Oliver has ADHD and ASD. Joe has ASD. They both rely strongly on their routine. And their routine and calming down is... Look how bad she is with her hay fever. She's so bad. Their routine and part of calming down is sitting and watching specific things in specific order on the internet, and they now cannot do that. So it, it, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. I'm trying to use my mobile data to tether a hotspot so that I can print documents for work, but that's not strong enough and it keeps failing. It's just like, we're not going to get paid this week. It's a nightmare. That's what it is. It's an absolute nightmare. There's so many things that we do in our life rely on this technology. And when it goes, it's like, whoa, crazy. Really crazy how disruptive it is. It wouldn't be so bad if we didn't use it for work and stuff like that. And, and we didn't have kids who, if you've got kids, any kids rely on the internet nowadays, I think. But if you've got kids with special needs, they can't rationalise Right, well, it's not working, so you can't have it. They don't rationalise like that. They can't, they cannot cope with that. It's just impossible for them to, well, they're like, well, I need it. And you're like, well, yeah, you can't have it. Like this morning, Oliver came back from my mother-in-law's because he stayed there last night because obviously we thought it would just be a one-night thing. And the first thing he said was, tabby time now, tabby time now. I said, you can't have your tab, darling. There's no internet. What do you mean no internet? Tabby time now. And he was really hyperactive this morning, wasn't he? Um, because his routine would change, everything had changed. The impact is phenomenal. I calmed him down for school though, so yeah, that's good. You did a good job with him, didn't you? Helping me. I'd be lost, really, without them. I don't know what we're going to do. I really thought it would just be like a 24 hour thing. Because we can't work. We cannot work. Our company cannot run properly without the internet. It's all right for Andrew to go and do the work, but we will not get paid. Oh my God, I just don't know what to do. Right, I'm gonna go, because I've got a psychologist coming out now. How are you? Ah! It's not for me, but she might as well treat me while she's here, because I think I'm having a mental breakdown. Tally bye.